Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript operators. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed JavaScript arithmetic operators, relational operators and logical operators. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript conditional operator. Conditional operator is indicated by question mark colon symbols in JavaScript. Conditional operator is the only ternary operator in JavaScript. We know that the ternary operators accept three operands. Here, as the conditional operator is a ternary operator, it accepts three operands. Operand 1, question mark, operand 2, colon, operand 3, semicolon, where the operand 1 should be a condition which should evaluate to true or false. Operand 2 can be a value, operand 3 can be a value. One of the important note you need to remember is the part between the question mark and colon is going to be considered as a true part and the part between the colon and semicolon is considered as the false part. That means if the condition evaluates to true, then the true part is going to be evaluated. If this condition evaluates to false, then the false part is going to be evaluated. Here I have written one of the example. I created one variable called as num and I assigned a value 10 to it. Then I created a variable called as result. Result should be equal to here we are using the conditional operator. You can see we have question mark and colon. The first part is having a condition num mod 2 is equal to equal to 0. Here the num is 10 so 10 mod 2 evaluates to 0. 0 equal to 0 evaluates to true. As this condition is evaluating to true the string e1 is going to be stored in the result and we can display the result on the screen and we can tell to the user the given number is an even number or odd number. This simple code helps us to find whether the given number is even or odd. Let's see the demonstration and get some idea. I go to the notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written and title is set to conditional operator. In between the body section, I have already written opening script and closing script tag. I already opened the default.html in the Chrome and title is set to conditional operator. Let me go to the notepad. In between the script tag, I say document.write conditional operator double quotations back at close semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the output conditional operator then I copy this line of code paste down I give here break tag so that the browser moves the cursor to the next line then I create one variable called as num and I put the value inside 10 okay then I create a variable called as result to that we use a conditional operator here bracket bracket question mark colon semicolon so here I give the condition first 10 mod 2 bracket close equal to equal to 0 then after the question mark I write here a string e1 and after the colon I write a string odd so you can see that we have a condition we have two values there now what happens here instead of 10 here I say num because the num has the value 10 there so 10 mod 2 is equal to 0 so 0 equal to 0 is going to become true and this even is going to be stored in the result I can display the result on the screen so I say here document dot write I can say result result bracket close semicolon when I say file save go to browser and refresh you see the output even. If the user gives here the value some odd number 11, what happens here? Num has 11, 11 mod 2 is going to evaluate to 1. 1 is equal to equal to 0 is false. As this condition is false, 
the false part is going to be evaluated here this odd is going to be stored in the result we get the output odd on the screen file save go to browser refresh you can see that we got the output odd you can even give a more descriptive information for example i can say here num comma double quotation space is double quotations comma space so now file save go to browser refresh it says 11 is odd if i give here uh, 10 file save go to browser and refresh it says 10 is even like that we can give more detailed information we can give even space uh, number like that we discussed already about how we display some text on the screen by using the comma operator right hope you guys have clearly understood how the conditional operator is uh, useful next uh, note conditional operator is a kind of shorthand notation for if else statement in javascript the same two line of a code we can write by using the if else statement also we discuss uh, javascript uh, if else statement and all later here i want to give you a brief information between uh, the relationship between the conditional operator and the if else statement what is the relation okay so we are going to write a var keyword say num equal to 10 and we create one variable called as result in the if statement we put that condition num mod 2 equal to 0 and in brackets i say result equal to even this is going to be a true part and this is going to be a false part the else part is going to be treated as a false part for this condition let me write the code and uh, explain here i am going to comment this code forward slash star and uh, star forward slash that indicates the comment we know that the comments are ignored by the browser right now i create one variable called as num and put the value 10 inside and i create one variable called as result of course the result is going to have undefined by default and then i say if i say num mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 you can see that i have written here this condition right num mod 2 equal to equal to 0 then after the question mark we have a true part right so this is a true part for the if statement here i say result is equal to even semicolon and the colon after the colon we have the false part so here we use the else to indicate the false part in in between the brackets i say result is equal to odds okay then i copy this line of code and paste after the else statement now what happens here means uh, as num has 10 10 mod 2 is going to be 0 0 equal to 0 evaluates to true as this condition evaluates to true the true part is going to get executed so even string is going to get stored in the result and this part is going to be skipped directly the control comes to this line and it displays 10 is even number on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see we are getting 10 is even number if I change the value here to some other number 11 now what happens here num has 11 okay so num mod 2 is going to evaluate to 1 1 is equal to equal to 0 is false as this condition evaluates to false the control moves to the false part to the else part and it puts the odd in the result variable and then the control comes to this line it displays 11 is odd number file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the output 11 is odd number so that is the relationship between the if else statement and the conditional operator you can see that we are using here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 lines of code to find the given number is a even or odd whereas using the conditional operator we are using only three lines of code to find the given number is even or odd so the conditional operator reduces the number of lines of code here hope you guys have understood how the conditional operator is going to work and how you have to use the conditional operator 
in place of the if else statement in the next video tutorial we discuss some more javascript operators for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial